What is going on? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be bringing you my top 5 favorite apps for back to school for 2016. So let's get started. So my first favorite app for back to school is called Grammarly. This is actually a really really good app. It's for checking your grammar and plagiarism and it has a lot of other features. For example, let me just show you what it can do. By the way, I'm on a premium version because I pay for this yearly, but you can also get a free version and there's also a Chrome extension and there's the Mac application. So let me just create a new document and show you what it can do. So you can just paste an essay, let's say you're working on pages or you're working on a Word document and you just paste whatever you want. It can be a long or short text. I'd rather recommend the long text because short text there's really nothing to analyze. But if you see here, there's different types of documents that I can analyze and since this is back to school we're gonna choose academic and then here there's there's a lot of type of text like essay, report, case study, reviews, proposals, all that stuff. So if we just paste it a document then it would analyze and it will show us our spelling mistakes, our grammar mistakes and then you can on the right side you'll be able to click and select which mistakes you want to correct and sometimes not always it can be wrong but um, it's very useful. The second thing you can add, this is only for premium, you can add uh, a plagiarism checker. And this is actually really good, especially if you don't want to get caught and you're paraphrasing or something like that. It's very good for that reason. Right here, it can you can add the option for vocabulary enhancement, which will change like simple words and it will change it to a much better word, a higher standard word. So it's pretty good and hopefully if you guys get this app, it will help you a lot as well. And last is here, you can actually send it to a proofreader, but it's actually a really good app, guys. You should try it out. If, even if you don't have a premium version, you can add it to your Chrome, and whenever you type an email or something like that, it will always correct you. So, um, yeah, this is Grammarly. Let's go on to the second app. The second app is called Fantastical, and this is actually Fantastical 2. I'm actually not on a premium version for this one, but I could, but I'm just not in it yet and I'm most probably gonna get it once my 21 days are over. This is a really good calendar app, especially because you can just type anything and it will recognize your writing. And it's really good because it also stays on this bar up here and you can just type whatever. So let me just give you an example. So if I wanna um, have lunch with Tommy tomorrow at 4.30, it will actually um, it will fill in everything so you don't have to click it and set it for yourself. So it's really good, especially if you want to do it really fast. And you just type anything, you can just type everything and then it will just fill it in for you. And then you can just click add event and it adds it to uh, the day you set it to. So if you notice, I said tomorrow, so it automatically, automatically detected that it's going to be tomorrow, Sunday. So it's a really, really good app, especially for school, if you're planning, if you have homework, assignments, all that stuff, very good app, I really recommend it. The third app is Evernote, you, most of you guys might already know what Evernote is, it's a note-taking application and you can make as many notes as you want and you can upload documents, you can share them, all that stuff, tons of features. So for example here, I've just made a note, things I need to do, and of course I can make a list, I can write notes. If you're allowed to bring your computer into school, this is actually really good and you don't want to type on a notebook because you're very slow writing, you can just type it up on a computer and it's much faster. It has a lot of features and you can actually organize it in different notebooks. So you have school notebook and other notebooks. So maybe in school I can write everything from different classes or I can make a notebook for each lesson or something like that. And you can uh, get very organized with uh, Evernote and it's definitely a really good note-taking app. There's also many other apps, but this is my favorite currently. Evernote has different plans for premium users, so if you actually want to use this app a lot more, you will get a lot of features. For example, you can share, or you can annotate PDFs, all that stuff. You can do a lot with this app. The fourth app is Spotify. It might come to you as a little of a surprise, but this is actually a really good app, especially because of these playlists that you get already made. So this is really good because there's a focus playlist which is really good for doing homework or studying or something like that. So there's a lot of playlists as I just said. So if you want to do studying, there's already tons and tons and tons of songs. If you have the free version, you might not get to skip all the songs but it's actually really good. 
And I have the premium version, which lets me skip as many songs as I can. I can add it to offline, so I can listen to it even when I don't have internet. And there's tons of more options that you can have with premium. But still, with the free version, you get lots of features. And this is actually one of my favorite things about Spotify, the playlists that are pre-made already for you. So if you want to study, you just click play and you get studying. The fifth and final app is Perfect Memory. This is a really good app to memorize things and it has this layout where you can add in everything you need to learn and then slide by slide it'll start teaching you how to learn it and then it'll start removing parts of that text and you can add images and then you can just memorize it really quickly. I currently can't download this app because I'm not on the latest version of OS X, but I can show you from here what it can do. So basically there's this system over here where you can add everything you need to learn. And then it will show in slides like this and then every time it will start removing things that you don't know or that will make you fill in the blank or stuff like that. And it's also really good because it's customizable. And what you can do is if you go here to memory packs, you can download tons and tons of packs for free. So let's say you're in Spanish class, you can just download Spanish phrases and then it will just make you learn them quicker. There's also tons and tons of more uh, presets you can download packs and it's really, really good. So that is pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed these top five back to school apps for Mac for 2016. If you want me to do more top fives like this for other types of applications, be sure to let me know down below. And as I said, guys, most of these apps are paid, but they do have a free version and you can actually get them the full version for free if you know where to look. So um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Thank you very much guys for watching. Please make sure you leave a like, comment, favorite, and share. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.